Hey guys, uh, DM Scotty here. Welcome to the craft. Hope you enjoyed the new intro as much as I did. Uh, Earl T. Gray on the DM's Craft forums made it for me. And uh, thank you, Nathan. Uh, he and his three daughters and wife also watched the DM's Craft. And hey, the, the family that crafts together stays together. Uh, today we're going to talk about large stones. Okay. Now, there are lots of ways to make large stones, but I think this is a great method. It's super cheap and easy to do, and it requires no tools, so that's fantastic. Um, some of the alternate ways you can do, you can use hot wire cutters and cut out foam, which you need the tools, you need to make the tools, and they can be expensive. Um, you can use that beaded foam and break it up, but that's a mess. It gets everywhere. Uh, this way is super cheap and easy, um, and it, hardly any mess. So. Let's go to the table and I'll show you this really cool way to make large stones. Now normally I would do multiples of these at the same time, but I'm just going to do one just so you don't have to watch me repeat the steps. Okay, so I've got a uh, paper towel I've, I've pre-wet it, okay? So I'm going to squinch it up into a rough rock shape, okay? So I like that, that looks good. Okay, so I'll just put that there. Now I'm going to use my white glue and I'm going to um, start uh, saturating this, okay? So I get that white glue on there. I'll just saturate this pile. I'm gonna use a brush and I'm just gonna help me get it all around this pile here. And I'm gonna keep it the roughly the same shape. All right, so that looks pretty good, all right. So now what I'm going to do is I want to, I want to cover this up, okay, uh, to make it look like a rock. So I'm going to use a, a piece of toilet paper, okay. So I'm just going to drape it over, all right, and kind of, it's got glue on it, so it'll stick. It's got glue and water, so it'll stick a bit. And then I'm going to uh, put a little more glue on it. And then I'll put another piece. All right, so that's two layers I've used. All right, so I've got that on there. So I want to try to get it into the edges of that as well as I can. Now I'm going to use just some plain water and spray that, okay? And that'll kind of saturate that into that, into that previous layer of paper towel, all right? And that'll get a nice adhesion. And also it follows the contour of the, of the paper towel, all right? And you can do little, you know, kind of dimples and stuff in it if you want. Okay, so that's got a, a nice, interesting texture. I'll give you a look there. Now, uh, that's gonna make a great rock. So what I'll do is I'll just let this dry and then we'll come back for the next step. Now, um, when I let it dry, I'm gonna go, to go ahead and use my white glue again. Uh, my glue all and put some on and then brush it out over the top and that'll make it give it a nice hard coat And I'm not really going to worry about the bottom. I didn't really saturate the bottom I didn't glue this to the bottom and that's really not going to be a problem. Okay, so we just want to get a nice hard top coat on this uh, um, Paper towel and toilet paper mix. Okay, so we'll let this dry until it's hard and um, Then we'll put like I said, we'll put another layer of uh, the white glue on it brush it on let that dry and then we'll be ready for the next step For the next step, step for the rock, I want to do a base for this. And I've got uh, th some thin cardboard, and I'm going to use that. So I've got my rock. And you can see it's kind of bent up and all that kind of stuff, but that's okay. That doesn't matter. So I'm going to cut this out close to the edge. All right. All right, so now I've got that cut out. Now I've got the paper on the bottom. Um, it's not really that secured. It's not really secured to the paper towel, so I'm just going to rip that off. Okay, so you can see it's almost like a hard shell on the bottom there, um, with the paper towel in there. All right. So now I'm going to take my hot glue gun and give a generous helping. I'm going to go around the edge here. All right, and then I'm going to stick that on. All right, and I want to push it down so the edges are flush 
with the base there. Okay, so you want to hold that for a minute so the, the glue dries. So um, looking good there. Okay, so now what I want to do is you got to decide a couple things. One is, do you want to have the base flush with the rock? Or do you have a little extra? And I think I'm going to have a little extra just so I can have some rubble and maybe some grass and stuff on there. So I'm going to draw around here with the pen. Might be a little harder to see because it's a standard pen and not a... All right? So that'll be kind of the base, all right? And like I said, you could draw that right, right on there flush. So I'm going to... What I'll do is I'll cut that out and then we'll come and move to the next step. So here I've cut it out. And I'm not going to put hot glue on the rock because I really like that nice texture I got from that uh, toilet paper there. But I am going to kind of blend the edge a little bit um, into the base. So I've got my hot glue. And I will go on the edge of the rock. And just kind of blend that in just a bit. Okay. So now I'll just go around the whole thing and do that, finish that up. So I want to add a little more to this. I'm going to use my white glue, okay, uh, my PVA glue, and I'm going to add some piles of glue here. And these will be for some, some sand, and I'll just kind of ring the rock with that. And you can even put a little bit on, on there if you want. Okay, so now I'll just grab my construction sand and just start pouring it on there. So now I'll let this dry, and um, then I'll go paint it, and we'll come back for the next step. So here's the rock all painted black, looks really nice. So to finish it up, I'm going to um, give it a bit of a wash. Uh, I'm going to use a... Um, a pewter gray, okay, and uh, I'll get that very wet and I'll kind of just wash it. And it's okay if it gets some on the base, that's fine. And then I'm going to use a bit of a rusty brown and just kind of pick out some areas, just kind of blend that into the gray. And then I'm going to use like a tan and just while well, this is all wet and just kind of Blend that in. And then I'll give a, some interesting uh, different color to the rock when it dries up. All right, there we go. So there's some, uh, some uh, rock piles on the side of that. So there we go. So we'll let this dry and then we'll move on to the next step. So in this photo, I've gone two steps. I painted the base a burnt umber, and then I did a little bit of uh, spice brown on that um, to give it a highlight. And now we'll move on to highlighting the stones. For the stone and the rubble itself, I just took um, a dolphin gray and very lightly uh, dry brushed it over the texture. And you can see that, that the toilet paper texture left a really nice uh, stone effect um, on the piece. In this setup, I have a cave tile with the uh, stone set on there, and uh, they, they blend in really nicely with the cave tile. They do have a little bit of dirt around the base, but they still blend in pretty well. You could also paint those uh, to go into caverns themselves. So, uh, say, you know, our adventurers come into the, into the room, and then um, you could have the, uh, say you had some uh, enemies in there, and they could jump out from behind the rocks. Uh, and one nice thing about these two is what I did for playability was that um, you could stand figures on them. Okay, so I always try to think about the playability of objects that I make. Um, so there's uh, one setup you could use these for. So here we have a nice uh, overland setup, and you can see I have the stone set out with along with some plants. And say our uh, characters go along and they fail some per perception checks. Uh, they're going through an area with stones. 
and then you know the same thing happens the the lizard folk or whatever come out and um, I really I really want to stress how I like that that you can put guys on the stones because they can uh, you know defend if someone tries to get up on the stone they could defend uh, against someone trying to get up there that's a nice defensible point I always try to think about playability when I make this stuff you could also scale this up very easily so you could stack cardboard and do um, toilet paper on it that kind of thing so you could make any size stones you wanted or any shape uh, with this uh, technique very cheaply and uh, quickly. And let me give you a, a look at the stone here, another close up. See how nice that um, that variation of color in the stone wash really gave it, it makes it look like a stone. It really came out nice. And then that highlighted dolphin gray was just enough to uh, pick out the details on the stone and the rubble. So yeah, I think that came out really great. And uh, we'll see you next time on the craft. Hey crafters, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the DM's Craft. Uh, make sure to subscribe, and I have tons of other videos as you can see. I am the originator of the 2.5D method of crafting tiles. I also do dirt cheap terrain for the table. If all this intrigues you, make sure you check out all the videos below. Also, uh, join my forum. We have lots of great crafters on there who give uh, advice. I have a link above and below. And last but not least, remember, go forth and craft!